All right, guys, so a buddy of mine, he, um, well, actually his dad, shot this coyote off their back porch this morning with a 44, so it shouldn't have too big of a hole on them. But uh, anyways, it's a big female coyote. I think it weighed right at 30 pounds. So I'm going to skin the feet on this one just because it's a really nice one, I think. So uh, the tools we're using is I'm going to use a regular skinning knife. I got a first cut knife. Um, I'm not using that to skin it, but I'll use it to skin the feet. Then a piece of steel, it could be anything. I use a screwdriver. And then you only need one tail stripper. I've got two up here though. And then tail zip, you can use a knife. And then you want a good sharp knife, so. And then I got a curry comb, but I've already brushed mine out. You want to brush them before you skin them, make sure you get all the burrs out of them. Because if you have burrs in them, and then go and flush them and hit a burr, you're going to pop a hole in your hide. So, I'm going to go ahead and get you guys set up, and I'll show you how we skin this thing. All right, first things first, you're going to want to wear some rubber gloves. You don't want to get coyote aids or something. These things are disgusting. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take our first cut knife, and uh, you can see the color change. And you're going to try to take your knife and just follow along that color change, and then... On these girls, what we're going to do is we're going to go right here down the leg in between the vent and the vagina, right in between the two of them. And then that's as much as we're going to do. And we're going to take the legs, rotate them, and do the same thing with this leg. So go ahead, take your knife, get it. Well, I like to start, this is personal preference. Some people start on the side of the heel. For coyotes, I like to start right here kind of in the center, like lining my knife up with the D-pad kind of, and just go right here. Make sure you don't cut that Achilles tendon open because that's what you're gonna end up hanging them by. Also try not to cut into the meat of the coyote too much just because it makes it harder to skin it. There we go. Now we have a cut going from here all the way to here. So what I like to do now is you can see we got two little flaps kind of started. We're just going to take our knife and well shoot what's a good angle for you guys i'm not sure but see i'm just gonna cut right alongside the bone and i'm trying not to cut a hole in the hide but you can see i'm just opening that leg up or so that's all you want to do just get that opened up get the hide separated from the bone now you can see we're really starting to get it off the bone. And this is where I take my steel and I'll stick it right here through the leg, like in between the hide and the bone. I'll give it a... I think that's good. I hope it's not gonna fall on me again. Give it a little bit of a pull. And then um, we are actually gonna skin the feet out on this thing, so I'm gonna work this hide up just a little bit more. Hang on, I'll show you guys what I mean. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take this hacksaw, and you can see, I'm gonna go up as far as I can, away from that Achilles tendon, and, uh, Cut this bone. Once you got a place started, you can probably just break that bone. So, there we go. We'll take our knife and come in from behind there. And just, there you go. See, now his paws off. You can give that a little bit of a pull. And now this leg started. We're going to take this leg. And actually, I'm not the tallest, so I have to stand on this chair and get his tendon 
up over this jam reel. There we go. And you guys see what I'm doing here? I just got the tendon and I slid it over that. So once we skin this foot out, we're going to take his tendon and put it on the other side. More gambrel here, so. Now what we're gonna do, same thing. We're gonna take our first cut knife and start our cut about right here. There you go. Now, we have a completed cut from here all the way up to here. So, uh, I'm gonna save you guys some time. I'm gonna go ahead and shut the camera off and I'm gonna skin this leg out just like I did this one. So, I'll see you once I'm done with that. All right, you guys, you can see now I've got both his legs started and uh, now I can go ahead and, I am so paranoid now that this thing's gonna fall on me. It shouldn't though, so I'm gonna go ahead and give him a few good pulls. Alright, so we're gonna keep giving this thing a few good pulls, making sure not to rip them or nothing. Coyotes are pretty thin-skinned animals, so they're easy to rip sometimes if you pull on them too hard. Now what we're going to do, take our knife here and uh, right here is the butthole. So what we're going to do is we're going to make like a V shape kind of. We're going to start right here. We'll stop swinging. Kind of. We're going to make a V shape. Start right here. Cut up this way. Make another shape right here. So that way and that way. So we're basically just going to Cut it out. Okay, there's one. Then take again and just there you go. Now made a V right there, a V right here. So we're gonna go ahead and pull them again. You can see we got the tail now. And uh, we're gonna take our steel again, right here kind of in between the body, right along like the top of the tail here, the bottom of it, and in between the hide. We're just gonna take our knife, and or not our knife, our steel, and push that through it. Yeah, you can do it through, there we go. And you see that screwdriver's all the way through it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hold it like that and just give it a pull. You can see how much that tail I got started there. We're gonna take our knife, cut some of this membrane around there, get it loosened up. We're gonna take it, we're gonna split the tail right there. And then for coyotes, I like to go ahead, again, just personal preference. Right here in the center of the tail, take that and just kinda split it a little bit. Just to help it get started. We're going to take our tail stripper. We're going to use the big hole there. Take it. Just clamp it on just like that. And then in one motion, we're going to take this hand. We're going to be pulling it. And with this hand, we're going to place it right here and push. So a push and pull at the same time. And there you go. Take the zip. And you see this is just like a tube, you gotta open that up so air can get in it. Then take your tail zip and and that open the tail up all the way to the bottom. See it's open all 
all through here so air can get all in that now. So what I like to do is take your knife, you know, just free some of that stuff up before you start pulling again. You gotta pull these legs free. Your knife. Cut that out. And uh now we're ready to start pulling. This is where a skinning machine would come into play nicely. So I have to skin mine by hand. Pulling. It's better to skin these things when they're fresh. I've skinned a lot of coyotes that were dead for like four days. And there's the pain in the butt to skin. So try to skin them as soon as you can. Just got hit in the face by that tail. Sometimes you can take kind of grab their fur and roll your hands up in it and then kind of make a fist push down and you can see how that kind of helped it a little bit all right there's the bull i don't know if you guys can see that there's some bullet stratinal right there so uh Got my steel again, we're right here by our front arms. You can see like right here's the shoulder blade of them. And then right here you can see this is like what would be his armpit. So you wanna start from the inside. You wanna take your steel here. This is very confusing to watch, but you guys gotta bear with me. You just gotta take your steel, stick it right through there. You can see we, I got it right in there. Now what we're gonna do is give him a pull. see we kind of got that arm started now same thing with this one take our steel stick it through there and then take our knife go ahead and free up those arms just a little bit we're gonna go one more time Give him another pull. Now that we got stuff freed up. And uh, here's his arms now. See, so we got him the hide off the arms. And we're gonna skin the front feet out too. So take our hacksaw again. Got our cut started. And now we can just go ahead and snap it. Take your knife now. Cut right through that, and there you go. Then his paws inside that, you can skin it out later. Same thing with this one. There we go, both legs are done. Now, you really gotta be careful. You can see right here, kind of this purple line right in there. That is like the main artery that runs like right in your neck. Like you know that you feel to test somebody's pulse or whatever. That's that same vein. So don't cut that thing because blood will go everywhere. I've done it like two or three times. You can see I think it actually, well something's leaking blood. I'm not sure what it is. Hopefully it's not that vein. So... Yeah, if you cut that thing, you're in for a mess. Okay, now we're down to the ears. So there's really no good way of explaining this. I think it's more of a experience thing almost. You gotta just know where they're at. But you can feel right here on like the side of the head. I'll even do you guys like a favor from right here on his armpit where you want to cut is about five and a half inches. So from there to there, that's where your ear is, about five inches. So 
you can feel where the cartilage is kind of bouncy. You'll feel that. Just take your knife and cut it. And there you go. You can see that hole right there. Let's see. Yeah, right there. That's where one ear is. Same thing with this one. You can feel that bounciness again. I'm going to sharpen my knife again real quick. You're just gonna cut some of that free. There's a bunch of like membrane and fiber or whatever all around here on this face. You gotta cut it free for the pool. We're gonna cut some back here. And now we got everything freed up around the head. Let's try giving them another pull. But now we just gotta work them down. What I like to do is actually stick my finger in like the ear hole, and then you can hold there or sit there and hold tension right here on the face. So I'm actually maybe gonna try to zoom in. Oh, I guess I can on this screen. My bad. For the eyes, what I like to do is skin down as absolutely far as you can. And right here is the eye, and I'm already kind of past it, but we're going to keep cutting just as high as we can. And that way you can rest assured that you'll get the eye and the um, eyelashes and just everything in the eye. Okay, so there we just got one eye. So. If that made sense, just do that. Hopefully it did. Same thing with this one over here. I'll hold it sideways so you guys can see. Just bring it down as low as you can. Cut it down as far as you can. And then here it is. I'm gonna grab that ear hole now. Kind of hold some tension on it. And there you go. Another perfect eye for you. Now, what we're going to do is just cut some membrane here, and then that'll open the jaw up. And you can get your finger in his mouth, kind of right there. Hold tension on that. Just cut all the way down. And then, basically now, you're just working your knife down off the face. Give him a good pull here and there. Just keep working that down. Now, we're going to go ahead and cut this bottom lip off. That'll do you no good. You're just going to cut it off in the boarding process, so go ahead and cut it off now. We're going to go down as far as you can, all the way up till you get to that nose cartilage. Okay, so we are at this cartilage now. Now what we're gonna do is just cut the cartilage, cut our nose off, and there you go. There's the nose. We'll go ahead and reach up in them. Actually, I'm gonna get this guy out of the way real quick. There you go. Both the ears. You got both of his eyes, all his whiskers, nose, everything. There he is. Got the tail out on him. Here's his feet. And uh, yeah, now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take him up by the house and uh, I'm gonna take a five gallon bucket. Sorry about those cows. I'm gonna take a five gallon bucket, fill it up with water, and then basically just wash all this blood off of him. So we're gonna wash our fur first, and then I got a little mini fridge out here. And I'm gonna throw him in there, and I just throw him in the fridge for you know, just overnight. And then that, what that does is it hardens the fat up. So when you go to flesh them, that flesh just pretty much rolls right off of them. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy out of here real quick. Hang on. There he is. 
taking these nasty gloves off. All right, well, that's all I've got for today. I should have two more parts of the series. I'm gonna do a um, flushing video and a boarding video. And then I'm gonna show how to remove the cartilage from his ears and how to skin the feet out. But that's gonna be a separate videos on their own. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.